Disclaimer in this video, if you guys are not interested in listening to my opinion and being really open with myself, then you guys could just click off. But this video is for the people who really want to listen to my thoughts of 2018 and my experiences. Then stay in this video. If you don't, then I totally understand. Click off this video. And you guys, hope you guys enjoy. And let's get right into the video. Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Red Flamethrower and welcome back to another pretty crazy video. Today we are back and better than ever. Today is currently December the 31st of 2018 and I'm actually speaking right now at 2.35 a.m. right now currently at the moment. So guys, why I'm creating this um, video is to just explain a little bit of how my 2018 was and to be honest guys, 2018 was just not my year. Honestly, there was just so many bad things that were going on in 2018. A good example is on YouTube, there was a lot of drama and just a lot of things that have been going on. Um, KSI and Deji started fighting and now they're no longer brothers, um, quote unquote. On the zombie community side, um, we got Noah J's house just getting burnt down to the ground completely and now literally he lost everything that he's owned. Um, JC Backfire actually got swatted a couple days back. And to be honest, that really got to me because he just, he seems like a really nice guy and he wouldn't really do anything to anybody. So so like honestly that really pissed me off also youtube rewind was a thing i, I don't even know why that that was a thing it's, it was honestly so trash um and a lot of people have actually passed away in 2018 we got x stephen hawking the creator of spongebob stephen hellingbird i'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce his name stephen hellingbird i don't even know how to say it but yeah he passed away and honestly all this just adds up personally for me um like I just I did not do good honestly this was the first year for me starting my second semester and my second semester was so trash I got English math science French and that honestly that just really unmotivated me to go to school and just that just literally completely demolished the way how I look at school for me physically and mentally I've gotten worse had a lot of other problems that happened throughout the year and just honestly 2018 was just not my year but Although 2018 did have some of its flaws and problems, it did actually teach me a lot. To start off, I'm actually going to say this because this is actually really important to me, that, that is streaming. So I remember when I was a kid, I would just see people streaming. I wouldn't really think that much of it, but back in late March, I'm pretty sure late March, um, I got introduced to streaming on Fortnite because Fortnite was blowing up at that time. Like It was so crazy around season three to season four. There was a lot of people like Myth, uh, I, I don't know about Tifu. I don't think he's growing, but Tifu, um, Ninja especially, they were all growing and becoming really big Twitch streamers. And I just wanted to hop on to the same train that everybody else was on, just streaming Fortnite, having a fun time, and just talking with people. And honestly, I didn't really think much at the time, but now that I think about it, I'm honestly really happy that I really started streaming back then because from then to now, I've honestly learned so many things, becoming a more positive person, always talking constantly not being shy never being awkward always trying to be the best of myself and trying to just bring out joy and inspiring people and honestly that's literally what i've ever wanted ever since i started this youtube channel i just wanted to help out people inspire people and just honestly improve people's lives for the better and you know streaming has actually helped me do that and now i feel like way more confident not cocky more confident in myself and now whenever i go out and i meet new people i don't really feel awkward as much because i i feel more talkative from streaming and that honestly really helped me and the one biggest thing i could really say that actually was great about streaming was meeting new people everywhere i go and every time i stream i constantly meet new people whether it's someone joining my stream or me joining someone's stream i always talk to new people and i always try to get to know the specific community that i'm playing with the zombies community has by far been the best community i've ever been a part of they're just so positive and kind and i honestly just love being a part of it the second point is actually going to be really crazy but it actually comes from school and i actually learned something from school so during my second semester you guys already know that i had the worst semester in my grade i honestly didn't like it i hated it i was doing really bad in most of my courses most of them english i was doing okay i was getting like a like a high 80 in it but everything else was pretty bad though at that point in my life i honestly just got really mad and i got easily pissed just because i've been doing really bad and that's when i really started to form a hatred for school just because of those four specific periods being in that one semester and for a second 
I actually thought about it and the reason why I was actually getting really frustrated and really upset was because I didn't want to fail and at that point I actually realized the reality of why I was going to school and why I had to do what I had to do and honestly that really opened my eyes to the point where I actually have to do good and that's when I just went off I just started being more positive trying to self-improve literally anything I could do examples being school health mentally um playing games just literally anything I could do at that point and honestly that made me a better person and then it moved on to the summer of 2018 and that's when I started streaming and for once in my life I actually dedicated myself to doing one thing back then whenever I started something new I would always just give up on something right away without even thinking or trying to work hard in it but streaming was just something that I really genuinely enjoyed and actually loved working hard on I started developing a following by playing Roblox I know it was pretty funny I started playing Roblox blocks at first but I was actually getting views and I actually really enjoyed the game that I was playing but afterwards it just really got stale and boring to the point where I just didn't like it anymore and I just quit streaming completely on my birthday and I just enjoyed my summer afterwards at that point I actually had a lot of time to think about what I really wanted to do at that time and you know like it was pretty fun I went on vacation to Chicago it was pretty nice and then I came back and I'm like you know what I want to start streaming again, but not on Twitch, and I wanted to try a new platform just to see how it is. Then I moved to YouTube, and I streamed a lot of Black Ops 3 Zombies. Like, oh my god, like a shit ton, dude. And that was, that was fun. Honestly, I had a really great time, and then I started getting a lot of subscribers from that. And that's how I have all the subscribers I have today. I went from 100 and something to like 230, I'm pretty sure, 229. And that was honestly a great time, and... I enjoyed it because it was a game that I really loved playing, zombies and streaming, those two together are like literally the best combination ever. So that lasted from like August to September, and then when October came around, Black Ops 4 came out, and honestly, I did not like that game as much as Black Ops 3. Like, I mean, it was okay, but compared to Black Ops 3 Zombies, it was nothing comparable. Honestly, Black Ops 3 Zombies was more hype, and I honestly loved it way more than Black Ops 4 Zombies. Just something about Black Ops 4, just, it didn't feel like a Call of Duty Zombies, I didn't like the perks system i didn't like the map layouts and if you guys didn't know the first dlc came out and i am not playing that i'm probably not even gonna buy the season pass just yet i'll probably buy it like in the next couple of months not now though school wise it wasn't actually that bad because this semester was actually civic slash careers then i had science which is actually my favorite subject i actually love science a lot i just do really bad in it and then i had history which i absolutely hate it is trash and then number four i have dance which is not that bad because i really enjoy dancing um and basically that was my semester and it wasn't that bad and i got through it it was really fun and i enjoyed school this year honestly i didn't it wasn't that bad and i liked it way more than last year and now we are sitting here currently at the moment on December the 31st of 2018 at 3.56 a.m. And we are less than 24 hours away from the New Year's. So right now, I'm actually just waiting to get more RAM. I really want to stream Fortnite back on Twitch and I really want to get back into streaming. But my computer's RAM is not good enough. And every time I open a tab, my game starts to lag. And I just, I don't have enough memory. So then it, I can keep a bunch of tabs open. So we got to wait for that. Um, it's still coming in. It's coming in on Friday. So probably gonna be streaming this friday guys i'm really excited and i hope you guys join in so before we end off the year i just want to say something real quick to all of you guys watching this video if you guys have ever messed up in 2018 and did something really stupid i just want to tell you guys that don't worry about it honestly life is just so short to the point where you can't even worry about anything if you mess up just screw it just go on with life life is not all about just lingering in the past and just staying sad all the time it's all about going into the future and trying to learn new things if anything last year i really had a closed mindset and i wasn't really open to doing new things because i was scared and trying and failing but now i've actually formed a new mindset over the entire year and honestly i like it and my mindset is just to honestly just go for anything you want to do if you have something you really want to do in 2019 just go for it if you want to stream stream if you want to start a youtube channel start a youtube channel if you want to work out work out if you literally want to do anything just go for it just fuck it because honestly everybody's gonna die one day you're gonna die i'm gonna die literally your entire family's gonna die your friends are gonna die everybody is going to die so if you guys are having this one thing at the back of your mind that you really want to do just go for it because honestly you're all gonna die so guys literally follow your dreams stay positive never give up and 
that's literally all I want to say, guys. Thank you guys so much for being in my life in 2018, and I really hope to see you guys in 2019. 2019 is going to be having a lot of content, bros. Oh my god, a lot of content. So I'm really excited, a lot of streams, a lot of videos, and I really hope to gain a huge following on Instagram, on YouTube, and on Twitch. Anything as long as I just create a community and have fun with you guys. So guys... Merry late Christmas and have a happy new year, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the new year's. Peace, my lads.